Well, welcome back here to the Air Crash Investigator. And today we're going to have a look at an, a trike, a uh, micro light trike called an aero trike. And this tragedy, and I need you to notice there that it actually st struck twice. Uh, series number 44 out of 100, please subscribe, need those subscriptions, and here we carry on. Just a little bit me out of the picture to show the aero trike loss of control. Here you can see the trike um, in the background here, but on the front of the trike you can definitely see a boom that is extending from the, let's call it the main structure, and there was a vertical part of the boom as well, to which a banner was fitted. It says, Van Nuyen rest in peace, and that is what makes it even more the tragic. Hmm. The first thing that I would like to say is that it, it was a, a tribute flight. All right. In other words, there was motions involved three days before this uh, gentleman's friend died, also in a microlight accident. He was very upset and he decided that he's going to do the befitting thing to fly a tribute flight to his friend. Mounted a camera on the right hand wing and then continued to put in or on a boom. As you can see the boom in the front there, a little bit of a vertical part. Here the uh, banner is fitted. Now I, I, I know if you look at it you'll think mm, small banger, banner if you compare it to everything else. But you should actually think of this banner as a, a quite a serious longitudinal uh, structure, if you wish. And now it's the wrong way around. It's like throwing a dart the wrong way around. Because the trike has got no tail section. So it's normal just weight shift. But now all of a sudden there's a protrusion that's got the same effect as, let's call it, the normal rudder and the rudder application, although it's short, it's there. Great. So, well, sorry, that that wasn't great, but that is, you know, what happened. Modified aircraft with a nose boom, fitted banner with his friend on, banner fitted to limit and then the rear uh, part of the banner is tied to the rope, the weight control. Now, remember, there's the weight shift bar, and there is two lines that he fitted from the bottom of this banner to the weight shift bar. Um, I, 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 I think he thought as he would move the weight shift bar, because if you want to go to the right, you move it out to the left and, and the uh, uh, aircraft will start flying in that direction. But anyway, it's a little bit more history. It was a downwind takeoff, not a big deal. Camera on the right wing wingtip. Aerodynamically also not a serious problem. After turning out to the right, the aircraft all of a sudden now nose down, pitch left wing stalled. And when the left wing stalled, it started going into a left. Now, the terminology is difficult here because it's not a normal spiral through 360. It's like a, a loop circle uh, combination spiral. And the aircraft hit the ground obviously knows first, very fatal crash. One thing just about the history is to uh, think that the pilot was actually a qualified aircraft um, uh, maintenance engineer. So he's been working with aircraft, he's been around with aircraft and uh, this guy knew aircraft. Uh, is that maybe good? In this case, unfortunately, I think the combination of uh, you know, being emotionally involved and changing the aerodynamic shape drastically, by the way, in a totally instable way in the longitudinal axis, well, it had its serious ramifications. I say at the top here, the modification led to aerodynamic instability, which is true in the longitudinal plane. And that's Right here we want to start. Okay, I said like throwing it um, the wrong way around. And the thing with the airspeed here is that at a certain airspeed there will be enough force and flow and direction and influence of the boom sticking out to the front. 
with a banner on it. If it was in the rear end, it would have made a difference, but obviously with the design of the, the aircraft, the rear end was not a, uh, considered, and that's due to where the engine is situated, and so on and so forth. Um, but here you can see the boom very, very well uh, demarcated. You can see exactly what happened there. There's this little vertical boom. Now you can see it, this, this is quite a sizable if you compare it to the rest of the, the aircraft. Okay, so we, we, we have to learn something from this. And I say here, never, never. I actually just uh, must change this color to red and say never, never change the design. Yeah, but Charlie, we want to change the design. Uh, and, and Oh yes, there are processes and procedures how you can change the design, but then you, you, that must be the sort of field in which you specialize. Aerodynamics on an aerofoil section such as, for instance, the trike, is a very, very tricky thing. You don't play with it. You don't modify it. You make damn sure that everything is normal, natural, and is fitted correctly, and no bogus parts. The bogus parts just slipped in because I've here and there seen accidents where people put the wrong stuff in, and you know they don't stick to the to the much higher level and standard of uh, aviation mechanical inquirements. Fiddling with aerodynamics, well, it is not safe, it is not allowed, and once you've worked on this product, then there's test flying involved, and, 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 and. This is a typical case where you would modify the aircraft in a major way, in the longitudinal um, uh, stability sense, and then you go on a, on a test flight and on the first test flight, there's an accident because you lose control. And this is what happened here. Absolute um, uh, unnecessary. But now I, I can see it's the emotions of the one side overriding, let's call it, the, the logic. And if the logic wasn't there, it means that the knowledge wasn't there. And, and that's a little bit of a problem. So remember, we cannot work on anything if we don't actually know. Really? All right. The downwind takeoff I mentioned here, but yeah, it, 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 it was downwind, not a good idea. Um, I don't think that uh, was a serious contributor to anything. I just noted here again that the faster the aircraft would fly, the more unstable it would become. Wow. Okay. So what is it that we learn from this? And there is something that we must say that we must take away. Do not fiddle with the design. Only the manufacturer can fiddle with the design. Otherwise, the craft to which you've made changes, well, no guarantees are left after you've done that. So please do not change and do not put any protrusions on your aircraft until next time.